I'm here to take uh, some photos um, on um, old school buildings because I heard that it's going uh, to be torn down. So I thought maybe I just took some pictures, documented it. Indonesian teacher and architecture enthusiast Dia Peni Tonjongsari is one of many who have come to old school on Mount Sophia since news broke that it will be torn down after June 2012. Some come for nostalgia's sake, others come out of sheer curiosity. For Dia, it is her first time at old school, and she tells us how it feels like. It reminds me of my childhood somehow, although just part of the details that, hey, this uh, kind of doorknobs is still uh, it's what I've used to find in my uh, grandma's house, and sort of things like that. So, so almost emotional. Uh, Lots of memories. Yes, lots of memories. I saw some um, lighting fixtures that is no longer around uh, in other places. Um, and it's green and peaceful. I find that, that here is like you are somewhere else, not in the center of Singapore. Many old Methodist girls school students are also paying a visit to their old school, which they hope won't be their last. MGS was founded in July 1887 and occupied the Mount Sophia premises from 1925 until 1992. The complex includes six post-war buildings. The oldest, the Olson Building, was built in 1928 and is the only building that will be saved. The clock tower and the Sophia Memorial are from the 40s, while the buildings from the Quadrangle were built in the 50s. Carol Tum, who started the Facebook group Save Old School to convince the Urban Redevelopment Authority to preserve the buildings, studied at MGS from 1971 to 1980. She walks us through the site and tells us how it used to be like. So what used to be this building here? This used to be, this is the clock tower and that's the Sophia Blackmore Memorial Hall named after the, the, the first principal of the school, the, the lady who started the whole Methodist girls school. And um, we used to have uh, the school hall up there and where we held concerts and talent times and, and assembly basically. And um, this, the lower part used to be the uh, science labs with uh, all the, ex where the experiments were done. We did all the dissecting of yeah. things here. Yeah. So, <laughs> what did you dissect? <laughs> oh, you don't really want to know. <laughs> Frogs, you know, and uh, you know, things like that, little white mice. This building was uh, where the principal's office used to be, uh, on, the, on the top uh, with the administrative office next to it, uh, vice principal. Below used to be the, the dentist uh, clinic where some people wanted to go to escape you know, their classes and some people didn't want to go to. Then over on, on this side was all the uh, domestic science and, uh, and uh, domestic science. So that would be like needlework and, and, and uh, cookery, baking classes, you know, rock buns and all sorts of strange uh, things. Fine? I think it was quite fun. All the people from the needlework class would wait outside the, dom the cookery class for handouts, handouts, you know, from the people cooking. So I think these are probably even the original doors that we, we used to have, these metal and glass doors that we, yeah. So uh, for how many years were you here? Um, it, just the two years on this floor and two years below. So this is the secondary school block. Yeah. So lots of memories here. Lots of memories. Lots of good friends made as well. But this was the the assembly field, you know, where we had the flag post and we would stand and, and have a assembly in the morning. And the, where the cars are parked used to be the basketball court. And the Olsen building, which you can't really see so well, is. Um, basically was the primary five block and the teachers offices inside there as well and um, it, it was just really beautiful inside you know the, there was a small library in there with old teak uh, bookshelves and all, all sorts of in it blighted books and all sorts of things. Whether or not old school will be preserved is up to the URA but there have been other old schools which have been successfully preserved and converted into landmarks. We look at some of them in the next clip.